Hey everybody, it's Jay from Replay Republic here. And uh, I have, although you can't see it, hundreds of dollars of fragile electronics on my desk. I have computer hardware that's slowly heating up and making a ticking sound. Uh, I have a scalding hot cup of tea positioned on my desk directly in front of my lap. So you know what time it is. It's time for me to put on VR goggles and get airsick in Project Wingman. Let's do it. So today I'm going to pick up the uh, next mission in my campaign. Uh, you know, if you don't really want to know how the campaign goes, you might want to uh, you know pick a different series, maybe somebody who's doing conquest because that's randomly generated. Um, but for me, I'm going to play through the campaign uh, end to end, I think, before I get into conquest. Monarch, this is an op just for you. Why, you thank know you. I don't like admitting this. But mercenary pilots in this world are among some of the best. They get more airtime, more time on target, than any of us national pilots outside of the periphery. That's in because truth, we're better dressed. You get the glamour we all thought fighter pilots were supposed to have when signing up to the academy. That's because that I'm better dressed. Five times what I make in a year. Better dressed. I wonder if that's why you went private. But no. I don't think you're the type to give that answer. Not to me, anyway. It's for the threats. What I'm trying to say is, you're capable. More capable than most, getting this far in. And because of that, we need you on deck for a one-man mission. Sure, what will I wear? Cascadia's southeastern deserts hosts the Solana Communication Array. It was a Federation and Cascadian telecom venture meant to expand Cascadia's networking capability, uh -huh. regardless of any thermal interference that traditionally plagues long-range communications. Yep, spread that influence. With that signal. facility, communications between various Federation units are streamlined, while limiting, jamming, and interrupting our own. Mm -hmm. Nothing to say of the censorship abilities that are used to enforce the civilian information flow. Oh, I know. This is it's one terrible. of the Independence Force's top targets. However, it's been outside our strike range until now. Mm-hmm. Due to its distance from our front lines, no fuel can be wasted dodging or circumventing Federation anti-air systems en route. In short, we're sending you alone to clear up the most disruptive defense systems before we engage in a full-scale operation to knock out the facility. All right. Dress you will insert press, into the Kaohort defense region in the Raver Mountains and take out all critical defense systems under cover of night. Yep. The defense system is calibrated for mass aerial strikes, but a lone aircraft flying relatively level with the mountains should be able to slip through and take them out. You're telling me how to fly Dismissed. now? Dismissed. The radar defenses are pretty in the way on the mountain range, but your battle galaxy all right, got here all we go. marked out. After this mission, don't tell me I never, tell me I never do anything for you. you. I wouldn't dream of it. Great. 
not went particularly well. Um, let's get up high. And at the risk of inviting more missiles. Get up. There, anywhere you see enemies, here, there. Incoming missile! Incoming missile. Blow up. I wonder if I got three targets in that pass. I hope so. Defense cluster alpha is down. So my scans yeah. are really up. six other clusters in the area. And Designating them Bravo through Golf as we get them. Okay. I'll just fire a missile at that one.
missiles on the other side, so it doesn't have a lot of time to guess. Uh, the sea ram. Excellent. Now I think we have time to engage those helicopters. So we have a little bit of altitude here. You know, I may be a bit of a masochist. I mean, not really, but I'm trying to say. I do appreciate the fact that, um, that there's kind of a physical component to this, and if I fly really um, aerobatically, that um, that I suffer physically, and I don't like the suffering so much, but I kind of like the strategy of it. Um, there, so some El Sam's up there trying to spoil my whole day. Some stuff down here. What's that? That's a Sam. Monarch, you've got a good lock. Hitman one within gun range. That's not gonna Missile count. is tracking. Okay. So what I need to do is get some altitude. Monarch, pop countermeasures in the yeah. main. Okay. Okay, so there. This cluster looks like a good place to drop a bomb. Good right? separation, bombs away. Flare out. Pickle, pickle. Ouch. Right on target. And hopefully, this one of those bombs will help. That has janky. It looks like I dropped a bomb right on one of those planes, but it didn't count.
like back clusters down. And missiles aren't tracking. Okay, let's get that LSAM taken care of. So I can just spam missiles at me until I say uncle. Oh, that's not good. Pull up. Flare away. Switch to bomb. 
smoothly sitting up on my seat so I can see where the reticle is. Just release a flare. Please tell me that bomb is on target. No? Oh, yep, yeah, got it. Container? Bonner, the enemy's walking on to you. Sure. Flares out. RTB? You mean I didn't fly into the ground and I didn't throw up? Amazing! Oh man. I almost feel bad, Monarch, for making you come with us tomorrow to hit that communication facility. Tomorrow? Especially after what you pulled off tonight single handedly. Thank you. Though that was one most hell of a hand. thing you did. And I got a feeling Operation Black Up will need you on point. Yeah. We have a straight shot to Cascadia Southeast. And, with any luck, we'll have fuel to spare for the fight. Meaning I'm Zikari gonna get some is help. mobilizing en masse tomorrow morning. Get some sleep. This war isn't gonna win itself. Get some sleep. Oh, man. I think I need it. Oh, the, uh... The flight style there. I, I did a lot of, um... Low yo-yos. And, um... 
trying to get bombs on target via straighter approaches. Uh, I still, I still suffer. I've got, I've got the graphic settings set to get the frame times pretty consistent now, and uh, it still hurts. It still hurts me to get to this point. Uh, certain, certain environments, I'd say, like when the, uh, when the environment is really dark or stormy, I have a really hard time with that. Anyway. Uh, I gotta say, the experience is still worthwhile. It's still a lot of fun, and uh, still got that sort of edge of your seat feeling. Uh, a little, maybe a little less in the ground missions. Maybe it's a little bit more about discipline there. But there was, I mean, for a mostly ground mission there, we, how many aircraft did we take out? Um, a whole bunch, a whole bunch. So, uh, that's a scientific term. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me this time, and uh, let's do this again as soon as I stop having really nasty um, herbs. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming along with me. Bye for now.